Yeah, they're going to try, but they're immediately going to go back in here. Carl does manage to try and go for the yeah. skewer, actually. No Tail defends himself with the press of the attack. Seb playing on the highlights here as he's going to go for the kill onto the Tide Hunter, trying to prevent the Ravage that is just now coming up. Skewer over on Soxa here. Soxa. He still has the RP. They have to be careful of this, but they actually do help Soxa get out. So many brambles now silence. Carl's in trouble. Samael is here to finish him off. The Ravage comes just a bit too late. They might be able to finish off Seb. They will, but it's going to be costing them two at least. Now they get the duel off, but Samael, he's just going to keep on swinging on these heroes. They are getting torn apart by 23 Savage and kited around a little bit. Samael has nowhere to go, so he's just going to commit for the kill on a Cuckoo oh and God. continue challenging. 23 Savage is up oh, no. next. Now the Doom has faded away, so he can throw out the Avalanche. And oh, oh Jesus, oh, like Ultra Kill. Let's Rampage go. on the way for Samael. The king is big and back in play here at TI. Rampage for Samael and T1 are not going to call it's it just quit. It's They're going to be oh able to go. Oh my god, double, double rampage for him. Give him the triple, perhaps. Soxa helping him out, trying to keep Cuckoo in place here. And T1 are going to call it here. They get the kill on Soxa first. Triple? And that is it. Triple rampage. Samael finally gets it. No. One avoid. One on Voker. Let's see how many die. Death taking a lot of damage. But again, just flirting back and forth. Not a hard committal yet. The Exorcism will probably make the opening as they're going to go right after Death. They do get a really nice stun off though. Right oh, away. Oh my oh. god. Oh, it's just okay. over like that. All of a sudden, the Aegis pop. He's got to come right back up again. And he's got to find this opening. He's got to find himself a Chronosphere. He does manage to find it over here onto the Luna. There's going to be Cataclysm oh, coming in hot. He's got a lot of damage. It's going to be enough. It looks like yes, they'll be able to take down Raven. Immediate buyback. Second Chronosphere comes out. There's just massive buybacks coming out. They're just wiping them. Everyone's buying back over on the side of Good Fnatic. Grip. They get a grip over on Chuen. They do manage to take down Y, but the rest of PSG LGD, they're happy. They forced out oh. four buybacks. Oh, and they might be getting themselves a little something extra. A little goodie bag here because they're just going to tip away over onto this Death Prophet. She's silenced, and there's just so much damage. It's buying a lot of time while this is going on, but eventually... Oh, this could potentially jabs, jabs. He's got a chase, wants to prevent him from getting out. He's got a TP ready, so all he's got to do is jump pretty far. He, skips, look at, he just does not care. He gets silenced. Okay, so. big deal. He's got a Lotus on him. Oh, it pops a plus with this. That what? was a mirror shield. He had a, Lincoln, a mirror shield. Lincoln's and a Lotus. That's oh a mirror Lord. shield. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. And he's got Backing armor here. Off here, there it is. There's Winter's Curse again. It's the wrong target though. These guys, they don't do enough. Oh no! Damn, it's a follow -up. It's too no, early. It's too early. That's a huge mistake. The Aegis though does get popped, but we're coming right back up again. Shin Q, he will fold Ravens back up. He's got the BKB. He's getting Fiend's grip. But the rest of the team, what are they gonna do to him? What can they possibly do? The buyback coming out now from Wyvern. They're trying to find any sort of an opening here. They get the Eclipse off. All right, BKB popped over onto Ame. He's trying to force them out of his base. He does not like that. They're here. Twen gets stunned up. Couple of the Ashes not gonna be able to run away this time around. Silence over onto this Timber Saw Raven, though he pops that Satanic. He gets Chrono Speared by Ame. They're gonna be able to follow up with the Cataclysm, with the Meatballs, it's enough. They, they take him. down the Luna. Death running for his life now. The tables have turned. LGD, they're just going after them, taking them down one by one. DJ, he's been a sassy boy this entire time, but they've had enough. Where's your high five now, dude? I loved his build. I think that was really just so crucial. Just this link into the Scotty. Oh, is gonna They're gonna try and zip it onto Nico Baby. Though. Nico Baby's out with the waveforms. Stun comes out. Abed's still jumping in. They've got the silence onto Nico Baby. Abed. The blast comes out. Abed's in trouble. Ice 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 will be able to save him. Abed's gonna live. The duel's down as well as the Maladic. They've locked down Nico Baby. Do they actually have the damage to kill him? He's still alive. Jump forward from S4 with the anchor smash pretty much on the entire team. They've got no more, no more damage to fight with VG. They have to retreat. Nico Baby cleans up another as RTZ left alone. There's no way to get over to help him out here as Alliance, they'll bring him down. Ultra, Ultra kill. kill. Arbed's trying to kill off Nico Baby. He can't do so. Crit, he's already called it. Nico Baby, he wants the Rampage to finish it off, and, and he's going to get it. He deserves it. There we go. Toss with the tiny and the tiny. On the Doom. And one last round, potentially, we'll see as they go on in, set their sights towards high ground. No tail, thinking about it. Gets doomed. Oh, it was the second one, and he might even have another in a moment as does still have that Refresher Shard in the backpack, but no Ravage, no buyback. What's Aster, he wants it. Streaming in and ready to go. They get buyback oh, just it, now from No Tail. Get the Tide again. Looking it's for so it, hoping for it. Thompson is out there. There's the Refresher Shard immediately out with the Ravage, but to no avail. Where is the follow-up damage? OG don't have it with no clinks. 
there is no game, and with no game, you best call GG. As Aster take down the two-time defending champions in a moment here, because I don't care how much you, do, you buy back on the DK and the Rubik, they're not going to stop these guys. Eyes on the prize. Aster finish right this one off end. and take it down in the end. Incredible play from this team. They Dude, take them down 2-0. Well. That's actually, insane. They just broke so many predictions for the day. Themselves. Oh, are OG going to try and hit this timing? They know it. Oh, yes. the BKB, though, but the Ghost Scepter. Good, Good reaction. Timing. Looking for a secondary stun. Jump in afterwards. Tops and Ava toss. A blast comes in though, and there's the echo, but he got stunned again. Monet tries to turn, hoping to do something at all here. They've already lost the storm. This fight looking okay for OG at the moment. Sox is still alive somehow. Looking, chasing, waveform. Success gets caught, gets chased, still invis, but they get the vision, and eventually they're gonna find the beatdown as they take down three. This was the fight OG were waiting for. I mean, I'll has follow the couriers. Oh. Follow the, the little breadcrumbs. Oh, they're gonna have they're gonna be under vision though. They see all of this. Yeah, uh, Secret sees everybody. Uh oh no. Oh, this could be bad for LGD. They gotta get out of there. Take down the vision to start. Now the avalanche catches onto Zinq. Sure, trying to back away. A little bit awkward. Good stun afterwards with that shard, but the toss back onto the creep, in fact. And Ame's gonna stun himself. Oh my god, Matumba Man, what a play there with the hook shot in, trying to keep Ame alive and from dropping too low. Matumba Man in to. trouble. But the cogs push back, almost gets him to the low ground, but he's able to get away. Sonic Wave on the other side. Nisha now isolated. Silence, no answer, dead. They take down another. But where oh, else Ame? can they he's find blinking. action? Oh, he couldn't get him. Oh, oh he oh, gets him off. There's the stun, and now the Sentry Ward dropped down. Can they chase him? We know he's in this still. And the link he ends up catching. They get sick, you. But Tumbleman comes in there and finds another kill. Wait, can they can't get him? He's on the wrong side of the fissure. Throws out the stun. What is happening? Again. But Tumbleman living. Uh, how can they get him alive? <laughs> oh, my God. They bring him down once. Where's the rest of the team? Zai's they have coming. to walk back out with the clockwork. He's not with the rest of the team yet. Ame trying to live, gets the ulti off, down to low HP, but Tumble Man needs a couple Look more swipes Beyond. to do it, but the turn and the BKB, they don't have the control side, pulls him to the other side! Faith Beyond trying to salvage this, everybody is alive on such really me, but they jump echo. in, and the echo afterwards! Yeah, you sure. gotta be kidding me! The Absor trying to salvage this Zai now, pulls him away, but there's no more damage left from LGD. Secret, can they find any cleanup kills? Yo, what is happening? These fights are unbelievable. Un-freaking-believable. Why is going to get caught right there? Another skewer. And now the pullback. Nothing to say. Trying to walk out of there. Secret somehow, oh, the some way. We know the fear. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. Dude, the death prophet. Unbelievable. Spirit Siphon ends up getting him with the shard. And now they walk back in inside. Able to live again. Dude. How long has this fight been happening? You're in power. Uh, it'll be like Matu empowered and uh, bloodlusted. Smoke on smoke. Puppy the one to break it. That's not a bad one to start. Faith Beyond blinks away, but they catch Yapsor. Able to isolate him. Hook shot afterwards. Catches down one. There's no Skywrath in this fight. Matumba Man also contained in the cog. Nothing to say. Down low, not dead, but eventually will fall. So two are gone. Matumba Man trying to clean up. But the big bad duck comes in from Faith Beyond. What a play! The triple kill from Ame as they eviscerate him in ZQ, oh. appreciating greatness. He's just in the stands. He's, he's oh, the only one to see him. He died. He well, you know, we'll dangle him, but we're not We're not going to commit. Yeah, we're not going to get paid. Schofield's very far forward here. <laughs> it's not 20 minutes into the game anymore, Schofield. He's got the A on this still. Burrows on in. He's baiting this one. The Storm. Axe Vortex catches wow. up three with the Burrows strike. Follow up. It's a huge triple kill for Whisper. His Sand King has been the hero of this game, and he continues. This could be it. Frank, Dark Ascension, jump in towards the back lines. Gets a good curse out there as Leo style Mars Arena, but doesn't really catch anyone bar Seb. MGZ's already been taken down by Topson and Sumel's coming. He's going to go for that the echo. With the echo slam from Seb, takes down two. They do have a couple of buybacks, but Topson's ravaged the Medusa. Mortimer throws the lava, kisses across the wall, Thunder Predator, and Medusa's down for 30, uh, 70 seconds. I would not be surprised if they just call it, even though they have Medusa in the theme. Uh, they can actually end the game with, the, over. with the Anchor Smash and the Dragon Scale. They have it. They might actually go. And here we go. There's the smoke. Yeah, they, they want it. Anyone that shows right now is going to be a victim. 
to OG's aggression. Good spear back though means MJZ creates a bit of space for himself. But the Rolling Thunder so perfectly connected, but it pushes him up to the high ground. Still dueled up as they move in with moves. The Marzarin is down. MJZ is set up around no tail, but some mail. Takes him out as he gets roared up through the BKB in a, an awkward extended team fight here. Wukong's comes down from Thompson as they RP out, but Leo Stars found by Saxa. A double for Sumail, three down from Thunder Predator. And Frank is deep in behind here in that, in that dire triangle. Seb's thinking about TPing forward. Minos with his Aegis hasn't been able to stick on a target. Has to cut through the trees, and Frank is just being pounded by the Monkey King. Two massive cores there. Sumail uh, comes out with a one man army. This game feels like it's all OGs now. The fight has been won. Everybody's down from TP. And Minos, there's just no moving now. He's going to get kited to oblivion. Topson. going to try to buy some time. Topson into tree mode. Sprout yet into again disarm. disarmed. A stake with the Mars ulti at this point. You know they're just going to take over the whole fights. And who are you going to go on now? Puck has A on disc. Tiny has BKB. Clink says BKB. You have to go on a support. Oh, and they're just throwing Puppy in. Puppy. They're baiting it. He's thrown it. straight in. He's got the initiation on a Toronto. Tokyo Toronto took his to level. Put the BKB, but the coil's down. Io in trouble as Matu takes out Mira. Puppy, he should die. Well, I say that. He's popped the six. He's, he's still, still alive. alive. He's not even going to die. Puppy's able to walk it off. The arena's down. It doesn't matter. They have to run spirit. They can't fight secret like this. Fuck like Aster has more of a timing here than EG does. Oh. Head. He jumped in. Oh, Borax. He's headed in. Ice Ice. He's in. Oh, it's oh, a five-man ravage. Ice Ice. Oh, That's what you want to see from the man. Gets in, separates the fight completely as the punch goes down. RTZ is able to make Monet's a beeline straight towards Mane with the leak building up. The gyro goes down. Lanham as well. He buys back. I don't know if there's going to be much that Asta can do about this. As Ice Ice Ice. That's what you want to see from the man there. It's been a bit of a slow game for him, but getting in with a five-man ravage.